Hey guys, what's up, it's Jax the Legend here, and today I'm here with another Minecraft Redstone Farm tutorial. Now in this week's tutorial, we're going to be doing a farm that harvests things that go boom. And no, we're not doing a TNT farm. We're doing the one and only Creeper Farm, which you can see a loads are falling behind me because of how efficient this farm is. Okay, so let's explain how this farm works. Let me just hop into spectator mode so we can see inside of it. So inside the farm, we have these little chambers, these 2x8 chambers, I believe they are. 2x8 or 2x9, I think they're 2x8, with trapdoors above them like this. So the reason why we have these trapdoors, let me fly up to the top here so I can show you, is because a creeper is just under the height of a block. So if we grab a trapdoor, creeper is just under the height, so we can place a creeper there and we'll be fine. Let me destroy those now. However, no other mob other than a spider can go there. And we've got anti-spider, doesn't seem like any spiders have been spawning in my farm, so it's anti-spider spawn. But so, so no mob can spawn here, so if I spawn in a zombie, and just try and spawn him in there, you can see his, his head is in the block, which means he will not naturally spawn there, so I can't actually just push him into there, as you can see. He'll just start burning. But that's how we just get creepers to spawn. But how do we get them to put all flow down into this one little chamber to die? Well, we have got a redstone hopper clock system right here. This redstone hopper clock system is hooked up to a um, uh, sort of pulse extender, which then triggers an observer, a piston, which then triggers an observer, which then triggers some water. Now, what this water does is that it pushes all the creepers down into this water source here, which will then allow them to fall and die in our hoppers, and then we'll be able to collect all of the gunpowder, like you just saw. Now this creeper farm does not give you XP. If you would like me to do a mob tutor a tutorial on a mob farm that does give you XP, make sure to leave a comment in the description down below. Or if you're looking for a mob farm, a mob spawner farm, make sure to check out my skeleton and zombie and cave spider and regular spider spawners farms, also in the description down below. Now let's hop into creative and list the materials you'll need. So the materials you need will appear on your screen now. Now the building blocks can be any block that doesn't have light, that doesn't let light go through. So here we've got stone bricks, I think they look the best for me personally, and then we have a little bit of glass at the bottom. I found that this is an okay height, um, because not too much light gets let through, so, so the creepers can spawn, but I like have, being able to see the creepers fall, even in a small section of the tube. So keep that in mind. So you might want to bring a few sacks of glass and a few and quite a few sacks of regular building blocks like stone brick or even just regular brick or anything like that. Now the other materials you'll need are just on your screen so make sure to grab all that stuff with the redstone, redstone repeaters and observers. We're going to be starting by building our chests. Find where you want your chest to go and build them three high like this and two wide so you have something that looks like that. Two by three that are two deep as well. We have all these are double chests. You can see. Now grab hoppers. Place hoppers directly behind them going into each one. And then on top of that, come two more back. One, two, one, two. Like this. That's what it should look like. Now we need to build the tube for the creepers to fall down in. I'm going to start this tube by building 14 high with glass. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now do this on all sides and you do not have to put the corners in, which is great, so you save materials. I'll speed this up. Now directly on top of this glass tube here, Go up another 11 high with a solid block like stone brick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Just like this and build it all up. Again on all sides, not including the corners. Now, from on top of this tube, come to either two, two, two sides and come 7 out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And on the opposite side, do the same thing. So you sort of have a beam like this. So you don't want to do it on the diagonal like this. You don't want to start building out like that. You want to do it on the direct opposite side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
But that's what it should look like. So you should have two sides where it's, there's nothing, two sides where there's like sort of, um, there's two sort of walkways. This is where the water's gonna go. So now we need to build a little barrier around it like this. Yeah, again, though, you don't have to include the corners. Now that we've got this build, this another one high. Leave one spot for you to get up just in case you fall down. So just one little block like that. Yeah. Now grab out some water buckets and place some water on these two blocks here. On one side and the same on the other. And it should flow right to the very end, but not go down into the hole. I didn't place that very last one there. Like this. Now that we've got this, it's time to build another sort of, we need to build another layer on top of this. Because this is going to be the height that the creepers are going to spawn on. Again, you can leave a sort of little stepping up section or a ladder just temporarily, just in case you fall down. Now from here, come another seven out on two sides, on the two opposite sides. So these are coming left and right. So we need to bring it out this way, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just like that. So we create a big X, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To really see that X, first make a two wide, um, a two by seven thing coming out from each side like that. So you can really see the X forming. Now you can fill in the rest like this, going up to the very edges. The reason why we have this is because the water is going to be pushing the creepers down into that stream and then that stream will be pushing them into the hole because otherwise we'll have to have one long big hole which will use more hoppers and will be more co and will cost more iron. And, eyes, and iron can sometimes be a very 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 expensive thing to get early game. And this is a very very useful farm especially for those people that have just started the game and are trying to get a bit of gunpowder for enchanting for getting potions. I'd also like to point out that you don't have to do this double-sided. You can see that I'm doing one double-sided, so I'm doing one on this side and one on that side. You can do one-sided if you want, but it does drop the efficiency by quite a bit. But if you have the time and the resources to do double-sided, I would definitely suggest doing so. So now we have this big platform that looks like this with a little hole with a hole in the middle. Now let's add in a border or along the outside. I do not add it on the very back just yet. I make this too high, so these two sides here. So now we've got this, it's time to grab out some dispensers. We want to place two dispensers hanging off the edge like this, so we want to place a block, two dispensers. We want to do this on the other side as well, so we'll do that. So we place another block and two dispensers. Another block and two dispensers. This. We should have three sets of dispensers on each side. And then we should have a two block middle like this with stone brick. And coming from each of these stone bricks, come directly out like so. If you're lacking on stone brick or your building material, you come directly underneath this and, and break all of these blocks and collect them again because you do not need them. Directly under, break all of the blocks. Like that. Then with this one, you just want a too thick middle. You now place your wall going straight across all of these. You want to repeat this on the opposite side as well. Exactly the same. We're going to be calling these the creeper chambers, so I'm going to refer to them as that. And we're going to call this the water flow. There's one side done, let's do the next. So we've finished the outer and sort of inner walls of the creeper chambers here. So now we need to place some water in all of these dispensers, so let's do this. Need some more water buckets. The one per dispenser. So this is what you should have so far. This whole big sort of, it actually kind of looks like a maze, but a very simple maze, because all you have to do is walk into this water system to get out. And 
possibly die. But we need to put a roof on this so creepers can spawn. Now we want we will it'll be harder to place the trapdoors first, however it will make it a lot easier because not only really creepers will spawn and then we won't have to go and do it in the dark. So let's do that. To place the trapdoors, we want to grab any sort of trapdoor and place that at this height here. So on the top of this block here. Just gonna place them going right across the very end of our chamber. Like that. And do it on the other side as well. So again, it would probably be easier to do this while the roof's on. However, it will mean creepers will start spawning while you're in there, which is not a good thing, because then your whole build will go kaboom. Let's speed this up. So we've placed all of our trapdoors, and it looks a little strange now. Oop, uh, except for one. Here we go. So now, like I said, the only creepers will be able to spawn here, because zombies, they, when they spawn in, when they, well, when they, well, Michael will try and spawn them, they'll see that if they spawn in, their head will be in a block, which you can see it is. It's going through it. So it won't naturally be able to spawn. Of course, if you use a spawn egg, it will. However, a creeper, you can see, is clearly under that mark. Okay, let's push him into our farm. You can see he's clearly under that mark and doesn't have his head popping up. Grab my sword out again. So now I need to place a roof on this. All, for the roof, all you have to do is fill in these sections here and place some um, place some blocks on top of the trapdoor. Trapdoors, multiple trapdoors, not just singular trapdoor. Just like this. And this is the most resource efficient way. It might not look the prettiest because you're going to have these little slits between them. And you can fill those. There's no nothing stopping you. However, it just does use a few more blocks. Okay, I'm almost finished, and there we go. We've now fully covered the top. And you can see if I head inside here, it is gonna be very dark if I finish blocking that off like that. It's very dark inside here, which is good, so creepers can spawn. Now it's time to do the redstone. Let's start by grabbing out some concrete blocks and placing some sort of scaffolding blocks, or any sort of block, it can be dirt or anything, whatever you like, just for our ease. Let's place them behind these dispensers, wrapping around either the left or right side, and then going behind the other ones. Theoretically, you could stack this higher, however, it would take a little bit more redstoning. So, I could give you a general information about how to do that if you comment down below, but it won't be super in-depth because it is very hard to do it while typing. So, there we have our little wrap. Now, I'm going to actually do the redstone hopper clock on top, which is this part here. So, for this, we're going to need some sticky pistons, some hoppers, some comparators, and some redstone dust. Oh, and a ton of random blocks. So, before we start our redstoning, let's actually light this roof up so we can just place a torch every few blocks. Now, you can do this more accurately by holding, pressing F3 and looking at the block light. However, we're in survival I mean, in creative, so we have an infinite amount of torches, so let's just place a bunch of torches on the roof. Now, you might have to relocate this, some of these torches, if they block the red, some of the redstoning. So, that should mean our sort of roof is completely lit up. Let's have a look. And it is. Now let's do it at the bottom as well. That's also very important because as you can see, we already have a lot of mobs down here. Now, to start the redstoning, I'm gonna call these pillars, these parts here, go to any side that has pillars facing upwards like this. So you can go to this side or this side, either works, and go to the this pillar here that's sort of left from the middle, which is that there. Bang, go to the right side of this pillar and count four blocks in. One, two, three, four then one to the right, and then place a piston on the fifth block facing right. Then do this on the other pillar, but facing back left. So you should have something that looks like this. Now, place a block of redstone on either one of those sticky pistons. Make sure they're sticky. Directly behind that, blo that block of redstone, grab out any sort of block. I'm gonna use a bit of concrete and place a block there. Then place a hopper going into that block then break that block and place a hopper going back into it, like this. So you have these hoppers going into each other. Then place a comparator coming out of both those hoppers, going into a block, and a piece of redstone on it, then a block behind this sticky piston here, with a piece of redstone on it. Now, place four stacks of any block in one of these hoppers. So one, two, three, four. Like this. And one of the pistons should extend while the other one stays retracted. 
Now let's move on to the system that activates the redstone that we'll put along here. To do that, place an observer on this right piston here, on top of this right extended sort of piston here. Then place a piece of redstone dust on top of it, a blue concrete block and a repeater facing towards the edge. Then place two blocks, like so. And then another three more that are two wide, so three, another three by two area. One, two, three. Two redstone. Comparators like so. Two facing that way. Basic forwards and two facing the other way. That. And then redstone behind it. This will create a um, uh, pulse extender. Now that we've done that, set this repeater to full four ticks delay. And to test that this all works, all you have to do is grab out your button. Oh, don't drop it on the ground like I did. Grab out a button. Break this block here. Of that piece of redstone place button there. When you press that, the pole should extend for a very, very long time as you can see. Now replace that back with redstone dust. Now I come directly underneath it and place a piston like so on either one of these blocks. Now come place a block on that piston, piston face, and then place an observer detecting that block. When I break that, if I put a little bit of redstone just to test it, you should see the redstone flashes. So it works. Now that we've got that, place redstone dust on all of these blocks and make sure to put some repeaters every 15 blocks. However, we need to be careful in placing the repeaters because if we replace a repeater right here, hit this, you can see it'll stop this dispenser right here from being powered. So you have to place it one further or one closer or two closer. So you need to be aware of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Here is fine because as you can see, there's no di dispensers along this, so we can place it repeaters anywhere along here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 15. Really, because it's on a corner there. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So as you can see, I can't place on there because there's, there's a dispenser, so I'm going to be placing it one further back. One, two, three, four, five, six. But now we have the working system. So here's a visual reminder that your dispensers are always on the ends of these columns here where the orange blocks are. And make sure none of your repeaters are placed there. Make sure they're placed in between. But now you know how to build a fully working creeper farm. Let me just make it day because it's a bit sad when it's night. Okay, so it's now day. So that's going to be the end of this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment and remember to sub or subscribe if you're new, and if you'd like to see a tutorial on an ultra mega creeper farm that is about 5 times this height, make sure to, ch make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll get onto it if there, are, if there are a lot of requests. So I'll see you guys later, peace, and remember, stay carbonated!